Hey everybody, it's Richie from Scoot the Harbor. Um, just want to do a quick video here and I wanted to show you a little brake update I did on uh, the electric XP. Really a very simple upgrade. Um, I had these brakes on my, on my uh, E-Move Cruiser and this is what came on. They're like those Tektro uh, full mechanical brakes. And you know, they brought the bike to a stop okay, but they had a very spongy feel and I just thought that we could do better. And these are like 55 bucks on Amazon. Super easy install. I'm not gonna bore you with all that. Just, uh, I used the stock block that was already on the bike. I took the two, um, the two bolts out of the brake caliper, took it off, um, put this one back on. Um, like I say, I used the stock block. I didn't use the blocks that came with the um, with the zoom brakes. I used the one that was already on there, and seems to have worked really, really well. Um, really straightforward, really easy uh, install. But one problem I did run into on the front, and I want to kind of show you guys a little heads up here, is that when I put the front brakes on, I heard some rubbing, and I assumed it was only in one spot. And so I thought that maybe I had a little bit of a warp in my brake rotor. So I brought it outside, and I was going to put it in the sun, and I was going to get right to where it was rubbing, and I was going to put a little mark, pen mark on the disc so that I knew where it was at, and then I could go straighten it. When I brought it outside into the sunlight, I could tell right here it was rubbing. You can see it was rubbing on one spoke. It wasn't a bent rotor at all. It was rubbing on one little spoke. So I found the one spoke that it was rubbing on and right where it was rubbing, I took a screwdriver and a hammer and I gave it a couple of wax and um, gave it just enough clearance to, to, not, um, to not rub, but also not enough to damage the spoke itself either. So really easy upgrade guys, uh, really worthwhile upgrade. Um, Definitely something that I would recommend doing, especially for the price, for 55 bucks. Boy, it really looked, it, it, it kind of actually made it look nice too. Pretty good, you know, kind of makes the bike pop a little bit. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, take care of yourselves, be safe. And remember, if you stay in your scooter, it hurts a whole lot less.